there are three topics in chapter 8, section 1. That's all we do in section 8, 1. One is called the average. And average really means the mean. So sometimes you have the word mean, sometimes you average. And when you look at the definition in math, is this how we write that, the mean? It says, you add all the values, that's what this M sideways, called sigma, summation, add them. Add all the values and divide by the number of values. An example, let's see what the weather looks like, the high temperature for the next, uh, I don't know, week. Let me go on my iPhone. I know it's supposed to be cold. Let me get the weather. Springfield, Mass. There we go. Let's look at um, the next, I don't know, six, seven days. This is the high temperature for us. 50 on Thursday, 45 on Friday, 39 on Saturday, 43 on Sunday, 43 on Monday, 39 on Tuesday, 39 on Wednesday, and 39 on Friday. The low temperatures are horrible, 30, 27, 27, 32, 27, 23, 25, 28, next weekend, ooh. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. For the next eight days, that's what the weather is going to be, the high temperature. So if we ask you, what is the average temperature during these eight days? What is the average temperature? And the average, is, this equation says add all the values. So 50 plus 45 plus 39 plus 43, plus 43, plus 39, plus 39, plus 39, divided by how many values do we have? Eight. So let's see what that number is. It's 50 plus 45, plus 43, plus 43. I got, if I did the right numbers here, I got 337 divided by 8, which is what? The average temperature is 42.1 degrees. 0.125 if you want to carry three decimal places. So the average temperature in the next eight days is going to be 42.1 degrees. I'll do another example for the average. So we're getting some cold weather coming. You can see that. Uh, let's assume these are, we had so far how many quizzes? Seven that you completed. You should have completed seven if you took the last one. And th these are your scores. 70, 100, 80, you know, it's so always 70, 80, 90, uh, 90, 90, 100, 100, and zero. You didn't take the last one. You missed it. We gave you a zero. So what's the average? What's your mean? We take all these values and we add them. Do we include the zero? Yeah, sure you do. Divided by seven. Oh. So let me add them. 70 plus 100 plus 80 plus 90 plus 90. And you divide that by seven. And your average is 75.7. That's a C for the course, if that was your grade. Now, if your teacher said, guess what? I don't do that, by the way. But if your teacher said, we're going to drop the lowest score, 
then your average becomes what if you drop in the lowest one? Drop lowest value. So your lowest value will be what? The zero? And now instead of dividing by seven, you divide by what? By, by six. There are six of them. So that becomes 530 divided by six. And you go to 88, which is from C to what? B plus. Big jump. So the average, you add them and divide by the number of values. Now, sometimes they don't have the same weight. Like each value counts for the same percentage. Sometimes you have your test is your final grade based on homework, a quiz, a final exam, a midterm, and a project. But the quiz might count 40% of the grade. And the homework counts 20% of the grade. And the project counts 30% of the grade. When they have different values, it's a little bit tricky. So let's take this example, your grade point average. People want to know, what is my GPA? So you are taking four classes at STCC. You are taking uh, pre-algebra, that's this class, arithmetic, 078. That's the class. How many credits this class? That's three credits. And your grade, I know this doesn't affect your GPA because below 100, but let's assume it does. We'll change the number to make sure it counts. Arithmetic 178. Once you put a one here, that's a college level course. And your grade is A. By the way, the value for A, the point value for A is what? It's four points. A is 4.0. You are taking um, Psych 107, three credits, and you got a B in that. And the points for B is what? 3.0. You are taking Chem, Chemistry 102. Chemistry actually has four credits because there's a lab that goes with it. And you get a B plus in that. B plus is 3.3. And the last class you are taking, college seminar, college 160, and it's the three crits, and you get A in it, or A minus, let's make it. And that's 3.7. That's what A minus is. So what is your GPA then? Grade point average, that's what that means. To find your GPA, because notice the classes now, they're not the same weight. This is three credits, three, that's four. So you can't just add these numbers and divide by four. This class that is four credits, it weighs more. So your GPA is gonna be three credits, each one of four points. That's three times four plus Three times three plus four times three point three plus three times three point seven. The whole thing divided by the number of credits, which is what? If you add all these credits, what do we have? Thirteen? And your grade point average here at STCC, if these were your grades this semester, 12 plus 9 plus, what's that, 12, 13.2, I think, plus 3 times 7, 21, 1, 2, 11.1. So that's 45.3 divided by 13, which is... 
your grade point average, we always give it to you in three digits here, four, eight, seven. You are above B plus average. 3.3 is a B plus. 3.7 A minus. You're halfway between B plus and A minus. That's what your overall progress. So because they have different weight, you can't just add these and divide by four. You've got to multiply each one by the percentage. You know. Three crits times four. Three times three. Four times 3.3. Three times 3.7 divided by the number of credits that you've taken. And that's how we calculate your grade point average every single semester. Now you know it. Okay, that's the mean. The next topic is the median. The median. So the mean is the average The median is the number in the middle Now let's go back to your test scores But there is a trick to the median The key to calculate the median you must arrange Arrange the numbers in order. In numerical order, from small to large or large to small. If you don't do this step, you got it wrong. Nine out of ten times. You have to sort them. You have to put them from small to large or large to small. So we'll go back to your six or seven test scores. There were seven. Let's go back to this one. You had a 70, a 100, an 80, a 90, a 90, a 100, and a zero. When we ask you what's the median, the first thing you want to do is put them in order. Arrange them from small to large or large to small, it doesn't matter. So if I put them in small to large, what do you see? Zero, 70, 80, 90, 90, 100, 100. What is your median? This 90, this one. Why? How many scores to the left of it? Three. How many scores to the right of it? Three. That's the middle value. Not that 90, this 90. I know what you're thinking. You go, what about that temperature we had earlier? That example. You had a 50, 45, 39, 43, 43, 39, 39, 39. These are even numbers. They're not odd. You have an odd number, you got a number in the middle. First, let's arrange them. What comes after that, the 43s? Forty-threes, 43, what else now? 45 and 50. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, what's my median? Could it be this number? Let me make it green. Could it be this number? No. Why? How many scores to the left of it? Two and how many, I mean three, how many to the right of it? Four. Can't be. Could it be this one? This one will not be the median because that'll give me four to the left, three to the right. So it's not this, it's not that. So what's a fair way to do it? Halfway between these two. So it's 39 plus 43 divided by 2. 39 plus 43 divided by 2, what's the answer? 41. 
If you look now, how many values less than 41? Four of them. How many values more than 41? Four of them. That's why that's your median. Median tells you a lot. Every time I give a test with my other classes, I send the result to them in email and says the class average was whatever it is and the median was that. So you, they might get an email from me after I finish with the test and it will say, please check your scores, class average equals, I don't know, 75. Median, let's say for this test was a 70. Now, if I just send you the first one, it says the class average is 75. And let's say your score is 76. You go, well, I was just an average on this test. Well, not really. You weren't average. Actually, you were doing fine in that class. Because the median is 70. What does that mean? It means half of the class scored less than. 70 and half of the class was more than 70. So you got a 76, you're probably in the top 40% of the class, top 30. But when you look at that, I'm just an average. Well, not really. Average is not the top 30%. So sometimes you want to see both side by side. Now, the same story. If I said the class average was 75, and you get a 76, that's your score here. But the median was 80. Now you're in trouble a little bit. Now you're in the bottom half of the class, probably in the bottom 30%. Why? Because 80, we have half the class score above 80. So you're not in the top half, you're in the bottom half. How far in the bottom half? You're probably close to about 40%, 35% of the class, the bottom. So you wanna see both numbers, don't, don't just go by the average. It tells you a little bit where you are, but it doesn't really give you the full story. You need to see both scores side by side to see where are you in relation to the class. So the median is the middle, that tells you where half the class is, if you're above that number, you're in the top 50%. If you're below that number, you're in the bottom 50%. That's the median. It's the 50 percentile, basically. The middle. And the last piece is actually the mode in this section. And the mode... The mode, yep, is the number occurring most frequently. What number showed up more often than the rest of them? Let's go back to the scores. 50, I mean the temperature, 45, 39, 43, 43, 39, 39, 39. What's the mode? 39. That's the number that showed up more often than all of them. So what about the 43? The 43 showed up twice, but the 39 showed up how many times? Four. Four. Let's look at your test scores. The one with the quiz scores, 70, 100, 80, 90, 90, 100, and a zero. What is the mode? Which number slash numbers showed up more often than all of them? 
I see the 90, I also see the 100. I got two modes. By modal. By is two, you got two modes there. The 90 showed up twice, the 100 showed up twice. So you could have more than one mode. On the other hand, if your scores were 40, 50, 60, 90, 80, what's the mode? There is no mode. Why? None of them showed up more often than the rest of them. So you could have no mode, one mode, two modes, three modes. Depends which one showed up more often. And that is the whole chapter. The only other thing left is the range. Once we get the range, we're done. Mean, median, mode, and the range. The range is equal to the highest value minus the lowest value. The difference between, it's the largest, I'll just make it the largest value minus what? The smallest value. The largest minus the smallest. So when we go back to temperature, what was the range of temperature during the, those five days? Here are the temperatures, or eight days. What was the highest value? 50. What was the lowest value? 39. The range is 11 degrees. The swing between the coldest and the warmest is going to be 11 degrees. If I look at your test scores, let me get the sheet with the test scores. These are your quiz scores. What's the range for them? The highest value is what? 100. The lowest one you happen to have a what? A zero? The range is 100. The gap between the highest and the lowest. If we're dropping the lowest value, what's the range here? Isn't it 30? 100 minus 70, which is 30. So that's what range is, the largest value minus the smallest value.